of some of the, in some three key areas. The first one is Isili. The 29 cases that we have had which are from Nairobi are all from Isili. That means that as we speak, there are 63 cases within the Isili area alone. That tells you then that there is community spread happening within Nairobi, specifically in the area of Isili. This comes out of the result of mass testing in that area within the last 24 hours. Kawangware continues also to be an area of concern, and there are 24 in that area. And then in Mombasa, as uh, the trend, you have been hearing the trend in Mombasa, in Old Town, in Mombasa Old Town alone, we now have 39 cases. Fellow Kenyans, this tells us that in those areas, in the area of Kawangware, in the area of Isili, in the area of uh, Old Town Mombasa, that we need to take action in those particular areas. And we are in the process today of consultation with the respective authorities in those counties so that we can determine what action uh, we are going to take. As we reported in our daily briefs, we continue to observe behavior and practices which, are, which stigmatize persons who have either contracted or recovered from the disease. Let me say this. There is not a single person who is immune to the virus. Not one person. You are as likely to have it as I am. And therefore, nobody should be stigmatized because of the fact that they actually contacted the disease or they were suspected. And in fact, ladies and gentlemen, I can tell you of a case where a lady who is a member of a, of a choir, of a church choir to boot, wanted to sing with the choir, and because she had turned, she was positive and had turned negative, people in the choir were suspicious about whether they should, she should be in the choir or not. Now, I think we should be a, a bit more generous than that, and I think that uh, that idea that somebody is a bad person or somebody is going to pass it to you it is not a good thing, and we should not look at it that way. And if you remember, it used to be the case also with HIV when we started. So because anybody can get it, I think what we should have is a lot of understanding. What we should have is a lot of empathy and sympathy so that um, we do not uh, discriminate against parts of our society.